Hello, welcome to our BNT unboxing video. Today we're going to go over a little video game haul that I've accumulated. Uh, where I work every now and then we get in some video games, uh, consoles, uh, games, controllers. Um, maybe once or twice a month we'll get some stuff in. And I start accumulating them. Uh, and yesterday I offered the boss some money for it. And I got stuff. So let me go through and show you everything I got. Alright, so this is the first one. It is a plastic case. If you take the lid off, you see a little bit more inside. This is actually a uh, a case that was developed, designed um, to hold 10 NES games inside of it. There are not 10 NES games inside of this at the moment. Uh, at work it was full, but a lot of them were sports games I wasn't interested in, so I removed those and put a few games I was interested in. I guess in a few months or a year, if those sports games are still there, maybe I'll try and get them, but enough of that. So, this is the case for the games, and then we'll go through the games. First up, we have a brand new sealed Mike Tyson Punch-Out. That was previously played. Let's see. But still, looks too. It has some generic instructions for it. Is that interesting? So we got that one. With the sleeve. Um, then we have uh, Super Bowl. Do apologize for the glare. Um, we'll continue with the NES games. Here we have Contra. Now a few of these games I have tried and they do work. Um, most of them I have not tried, so who knows that they work. We have the Legend of Zelda, yeah, the, Le or the Adventure of Link, Zelda 2 for the NES. This one does appear to have had some writing on the back of it that someone had to remove. So there is a discoloration on it. Um, then we have one of my favorite, well, gameplay it's good, but the music is the best. Tetris. Um, and followed by Tetris, we have Zelda, the original. This one is not discarded on the back. And the last NES game in this box is uh, Basis Loaded 3. So we've got a nice collection of NES games. And then we have two N64 games. We have Mario Kart 64 and Pokemon Puzzle League. So we got those two. Put the lid back on this and move on to the next items that we acquired. Next up is Tetris 2, which appears to be complete. Let's take a quick look and see what we got inside. Game. Nintendo tray. And some papers. Along with what sounds like a piece of styrofoam. Yep, styrofoam's in there too. So we got the manual for Tetris 2. Uh, the Nintendo Power Entertainment System information. Ooh, and a poster. Nice. That's even better than I expected. A Mario 3 poster. That is nice. So that, that. I knew... Then I figured the manual was in there, but I didn't know the rest of it, so that, that's a nice surprise. I didn't look at any of the stuff. I had been piling it up for so long, I just was like, you know what? Thanksgiving's there on the corner. I want to take this stuff home and, and play it. I'll deal with that later. Um, then we have... This one. The NES Advantage joystick controller. Uh, this one I've already tested. Moving to the right doesn't work. Moving to the left does work. And down works. So I do. The repairs will need to happen on this. Uh, but still a very, very cool item to have. And then the Nintendo Game Boy Player. No disc, just the, the player itself. That is all the Nintendo items I got. 
we also got the PS1. With two matching controllers. So that's everything I got. Pretty good haul for uh, for a place that doesn't sell video games. So that's pretty good. Um, a lot of stuff, if not all this stuff, needs to be cleaned up. The controller needs to be repaired. This has just been a look at uh, some of the stuff I was able to acquire over the past, well, been stockpiling it for the past year or so. But finally, I was able to purchase it. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick rundown, review, look at all this stuff. Uh, try and get some videos about repairs coming up soon. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye.